Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're starting this new month and actually new year with some great apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device. So we have 10 apps, which most of them are recently released that are great. And I believe you must download them on your iPhone in January, 2023. Before we get started with the first app, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So please make sure to do so. It really helps the channel a lot and will help us of course, start this year way better. Now the first app is called Island Speed. It allows us to view the speed of your network on your dynamic island and also on live activities not just that you can view also your locations the frames per second the ping test you have a clock there and you will also have a countdown tool it actually works really really great and it's very easy to use you tap on internet speed and just like that you can tap on save here and it will start it right away so that way you will have your total wi-fi and seller upload and download speeds and of course if you head on to your lock screen you will have here the live activity which again will show you your speeds for your network the seller and also the wi-fi network speeds right there again you can apply this to all the different tools that you saw on the app for the countdown for the clock for the ping test everything from there can be used on the dynamic island and also with live activities the next app for this video is called Bast. Now this is a really interesting app that will let you see the details of the health of your battery. Now it works really great. The first thing you will have to do is not use the app, but actually head on to the settings app. And from here, go to privacy and security, scroll all the way down here to analytics and improvements, go to analytics data. You can see right here where it says analytics 2023. You go to the last one, tap on the share button right there and just save it to files now what you can do from here tap on save now you head on to the app so when you go to the app you tap on import and now you can import that from here so here we'll have analytics so we tap there it imports it and it will show the health data for the battery so you can see the current health 99 cycle count 98 current capacity you can see the maximum capacity that the, the device basically the battery had when it was new and you will have the minimum capacity right here so just like that you can view all the important information you need to know regarding your iphone's battery and here we have another battery app called battery monitor now this will allow you to monitor the battery of your apple watch so you enable this right here and you can choose here the percentage you want so every 10 percent or battery below 50 percent and you will get a notification basically showing you at what percentage of battery your watch is so again you can just have one right here at below 50 percent or any other percentage that you choose of course or just choose here every 10% or maybe another number that you want. And at that exact time, you will get a notification letting you know the battery state of your Apple Watch. The next app is called Search and it allows you to search using images. So if you have an image on your photo library and you cannot find it on the internet, you can just simply go ahead and pick it up from your photos library and just like that you can tap on confirm and it will show you the results it will find the image that you need of course if it is available on the internet so the app works really great actually you can see it has found some very similar images and the one right there which is the exact one it has some other tools right here like clone finder you have a picture maybe your picture of another person you can actually find people that look alike and then you will have here shopping search you can search for goods based on images so maybe let's say you see an, a watch you like you take a picture of it and you can search it here and you will also have here instant analyzer and also website lookup so a few very nice tools on a free app next up is wi-fi qr code this will let you create qr codes for your wi-fi networks so let's say you have a few different like wi-fi networks your home maybe your office your anything else and you want to have qr codes so that you can share the wi-fi passcode with other people without having to give them passcode all you have to do is go into the app tap the plus button right here enter the name right here this is the name of the network and you will have the wi-fi name the name that shows when you want to connect to the wi-fi you add it here and also you add the password of the network here 
tap on save and they will have a list of all your networks you want to share one with someone you just go here you will have the qr code they can scan it or if you want to you can tap the three dots right there you can actually share it or print it from here or delete it or edit anything you want maybe you change the passcode or something like that you can go ahead and edit it from here is it down is the next app for the video it allows you to just take a look at a website and see if it's down or not now sometimes when you want to go to a website or maybe one of your social media you see that it, it is down but you don't know if the problem is on your network or something like that or if it's down for everyone as well now this app will allow you to do that so here we have in this case apple.com you enter the website right there you can tap on check and you will have here the option to see if it's down for you for all or worldwide so just like that you can see all the details and of course if it's down it will show it all right here so it's all good for now and you will see here all the different details for everyone else as well you can have there any like different website as, as i said any social media you want you can go ahead and check it from here now if we go here under speed test you can also speed test here the, the speed of the website maybe like upload and download so if we just enter apple.com right there we can test the download and in the second here it will show you the download speeds for apple.com you can do the same for the upload as well now this right here is one of the coolest lock screen widgets that you can get for your iphone it is called gif widget it allows us to have gifs as widgets on your lock screen and they are actually as you can see right here live widgets so you go into the app and you will have a bunch of different widgets here so you need to save them first so let's just go into the app so when you go into the app you will see all these different widgets so these right here are widgets that you apply at the top and you will have of course the bigger ones you will have two of those so you need to combine them you will have one on the left one on the right and it looks really cool you tap on see all and you will see all the different widgets that you can add and you will have the same here for the smaller widgets as well so you see all of these you can just go ahead and tap on one of them and tap on set widget and then you will have it saved so you will have here a list of all your saved widgets and then you can just apply them from the lock screen next up is wi-fi tools now wi-fi tools is an app that you can use for your wi-fi network and it has all the tools you need you have the wi-fi tools right there at the top which will show you all kinds of details you need to know regarding your network like your dns it will show you of course your ip public and private ip then you will have here the router setup you can set up your router from here and you will have everything else that you need ping you can test the ping you want you can actually scan your LAN network you will have here dns lookup port scanner you have the ips here converters ip calculator basically everything that you need to use for your wi-fi network you can find for free on this app lock screen note is a simple app it allows us to have a note on your lock screen so you can do that using the widgets the lock screen widgets the bigger ones it doesn't have an option for a smaller one but it actually is as i said a very simple app all you have here is a note which you can add to your lock screen and of course you can add it from the app so you go into the app and from the app here all you have to do is just tap right there and you can just go ahead and actually type anything you want and you can have that saved and show up on the lock screen of your device and last but not least is another very simple to use app but it's actually really cool it is called point in time so it basically will show you a countdown until a certain point in time so right here we can choose any date we want and then of course it will show us the countdown so choose any day you want tap here and tap on live activity and just like that you will have this on the lock screen of your device of course on the dynamic island as well you can see right here actually the design is really nice and simple it will show you here the days and the hours until that point in time so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did if you want to download any of these apps make sure you check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one